Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Real Reviews for real people just like you. So again, uh, this will be a little bit different than normal. I have, you know, still passionate about beer, but I want to get more into other types of drinks as well. So I hope you guys have some interest in this. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Remember, I can't do this without you. So today we're going to be looking at Yellowtail Cabernet Sauvignon. This is uh, 2018, crafted by the Casella family. Signature, John Casella. Yellowtail Cabernet Sauvignon. In the small Australian town of Yenda, the Casella family has been making wine for generations. It is here that Yellowtail was created with a simple philosophy. To make great wines for everyone to enjoy. Well, that sounds nice, doesn't it? This Yellowtail Cabernet Sauvignon is everything a great wine wine should be. Vibrant, velvety, rich, and easy to drink. The flavors are black currants, mocha, and spice. It is recommended you enjoy with a steak. And family and friends can make it better. So as you can see, what I like about Yellowtail, it'll have this little measuring rating. So as you can see, the kangaroo is more towards the dry side. Meaning this is going to be a well relatively dry wine you know uh, not too intense on the sweetness factor this is clocking in at 13.5 percent alcohol by volume this is a product of Australia southeastern Australia produced by Casella family brands imported by the douche family wine and spirits from Stamford Connecticut so it's definitely come a long way um, you know, it looks like a typical bottle. You know, I've always liked the artistic, abstract art style kangaroo. Yellowtail, I think it's an all right name. It's a good name. I've been impressed with their products so far. Um, I did a review on their sangria previously on my channel. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I already opened it earlier. I just, you know, wanted to prepare for this presentation. But I haven't drank any of it yet. So when I open the bottle, it smells. It smells kind of sweet, but not over. But like I guess I could. Uh, yeah, the uh, black currants, a little bit of mocha and spice. So I can definitely see why that's listed. I mean, it's obviously in this. It's hard to describe. I just get like a. Semi-sweet smell. It's very inviting and welcoming. Very good. Very impressive so far. I don't know. Seems like I can never pour it right, you know? So, it's a very dark red. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer it with ice cubes. Keeps it cooler longer. Definitely smelling the black currants more prevalently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the mocha, a eh, little bit, not too much. I don't really detect the spice very much. Um, all in all, it looks good. Can't really see through it. It's got a nice consistency. Very good flavor. You can truly taste the spice. It's kind of sweet, but like I said, it's more dry. You know, doesn't have like that really sweet and juiciness that you would get from like a... You know, a sangria, basically, you know. Um, smooth. Even though it's got 13.5% alcohol, which is typical for a Cabernet. You don't really taste the alcohol in it. You can kind of feel it, but it just, it, it tastes good in the mouth. It's very pleasurable on the palate. You know, goes down well. You know, very good, very good indeed. So, Yellowtail Cabernet Sauvignon. 
I think it's a good one. Uh, you know, honestly, I was impressed with the Yellowtail Sangria. I'm impressed with this one as well. I think Yellowtail does a good job. You know, it's not too expensive, you know, like ranging from, you know, 10 to $13 if it's on special, if it's not on special. So reasonably priced, you know, regular size wine bottle, not that, you know, tiny bull crap for the same price. So that's cool. Very nice. I give it a, I have to say a four out of five. Um, you know, not really sure what could make it more perfect, but I feel like uh, it's not necessarily entirely perfect. But it's good, definitely for sure. I highly recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed this review, everyone. And, uh, you know, thank you for your time. Please like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. And if you want me to review something in particular, please let me know in the comments below. This is Real Reviews, Real People Just Like You, signing out.